we meet again, Internet. How are you? First item of business, despite everything I ever promised myself, I'm now on Twitter. So, if you're the sort of person to follow people on Twitter, you can follow me there now. Uh, my name is Devil Lore. Uh, also, Ciderhelm and Alien are on there. You can find them from uh, my page or from the forums listing on TankSpot. It's a great way for us to just throw out little quick updates uh, for everybody on, you know, things like what we're working on uh, or other, you know, just whatever we happen to want to throw out there. So definitely uh, add us to Twitter. Uh, head over there and just check out all of our twiddles. Tweet, twi tweedles. Twi tweets? Twit, twits? Basically what I'm saying here is we're just a bunch of gigantic twa- Next up, uh, this Friday, which is probably tomorrow if you're watching this when it first goes up, uh, I'm going to be appearing on RARCAST for a special tanking episode. Uh, there's also going to be Venericio, who runs TankingTips.com and is a pretty frequent poster on TankSpot, uh, and a guy named Arment, who I unfortunately know nothing about. Sorry, dude. It's also going to be a live show, and we're going to be answering your questions, so definitely check that out. should be a lot of fun. Alright, so for today's topic, I thought we'd talk a little bit about DPS. Specifically, how you can do more of it. Now, obviously, I don't know the ins and outs of every single class, and I'm certainly not the best Rhett Paladin to have ever walked the Earth. Uh, but here's a few general tips that you can use that everyone should know, but obviously some of you don't, or my random halls of stone would not take 45 minutes. Step 1. Research. Now I know that going and seeing what some nerd said is the best thing to do for your class doesn't sound like the coolest thing ever. But the simple fact is that the 10 minutes you spend reading about your class on something like Elitist Jerks or Tank Spot can have a bigger increase on your actual DPS numbers than 10 hours of rating. Some of the questions that you can find answers to on there are things like, uh, what rotation should I be using? Uh, does that change depending on what gear I have? Uh, what should I be gemming? What should I be enchanting? Which stats are more important? Things like that. The answers are not always as obvious as you think. Now obviously gear is still important and has a pretty significant impact on the numbers you can put up. But if you're stinking up the bottom of the beaters every raid, chances are really, really good that you could bring yourself up quite a bit by going on and researching and learning what the heck you're supposed to be doing, because you're probably doing something wrong. Step two. Practice. I don't mean wait until the next raid, and I don't mean queue up for a random. If you've just changed your rotation in any way, you need to spend some time on a target dummy. This is because of a fantastic little phenomenon known as muscle memory. If you're unfamiliar with the term, it means that the more you do something, the easier it is for you to remember to do it. Pretty simple and straightforward. What that means is that if you've changed up your rotation at all, you need to force yourself to learn the new one. Otherwise, you're going to be leaning back into the old one on accident from time to time, and that lowers your DPS. Fortunately, it works both ways, because as you finally get used to the new rotation, uh, you'll be able to do it pretty much without thinking about it and be awesome in pretty much every way. So go and whack away at that target dummy like it's 17 patchworks. Just keep on hitting it and hitting it and hitting it. Uh, make sure you're popping your cooldowns and stuff to everything that you would normally do when you're DPSing a boss uh, until it gets so second nature to you that you can do it without even having to look at the keyboard. While you're at it, this leads into tip number three. Make sure you're actually pushing your buttons. Now, I know it sounds really, really obvious and you're just thinking, oh, he's just making a joke right now, but this is a problem that a lot of people have. In fact, you might even do this without realizing it. Everyone at some point or another has run into that situation where you just get lost for a second for whatever reason and cannot remember what the next button to push in your rotation is. When that happens, 99.999999% of the time, it is better for you to push the wrong button than it is for you to sit there and wait to try and figure out uh, what the right button to push is. Now there's a couple of exceptions, like if a Fury Warrior slams when you don't have a Blood Surge proc, that's actually a DPS loss over just standing there and auto-attacking, uh, but that's the sort of thing you should have learned back in tip one, which is go do some research. Even aside of when you've messed something up, DPS is a very, very, very spammy job. You're going to be pushing your buttons a lot. So if your idea of going through your DPS rotation looks something like this...
you may want to reconsider a bit. Personally, I usually tend to go something like this. Then again, I am our Ret Paladin, so maybe it's something more like... And finally, before I wrap this up, here's a few other little things to keep in mind. If you think you don't need to use flasks or potions, you're wrong. If you're clicking anything that has any impact on your DPS whatsoever, you are wrong. If you're watching TV and you miss ready checks because you had to turn it up so loud that you couldn't hear your game, you're wrong. Seriously, Code? Seriously? Anyway, that's all out of me for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back again next week, and I'll see you later.